Hello and welcome to today's video in which we will make a small uh, Android app, a little game. Like, uh, I, I've made my mind and it's going to be a, a kind of Pong where you have two paddles. So it's a two player game, two paddles, right? Two paddles and the ball and you just get points and fight each other uh, on one mobile phone, which is in my case an Android phone. And I've set myself the goal to do this in 15 minutes. I prepared three songs. They are actually 15 minutes and 23 seconds long in, in some, but I think those 23 seconds are not the worst uh, to get over with. So I already made a couple of ideas I already have in my head. I already um, created the project, called it Two Player Pedal, and let's see if we can do this in uh, 15 minutes. I'll explain a little bit what's going on and I'm really looking forward to the best result I can achieve in 15 minutes. Please, if you are watching this, uh, please do not laugh about it because I will be probably a lot uh, stressed out a lot. So as I said, three songs. When those songs are done, that's it. I can't go any further. Um, yeah, the songs are also getting more hectic over time. So I've got three prepared. Let's see if you recognize one. Ah, you're good. The last one, probably. <clears throat> ah, 15 minutes, that's that's too fast. That's Let's see, let's see. That's too few time. And I'll start now. So the first thing I need to do is actually, I've got this room, room zero here, this this one there. Um, since I want to play this on my Android phone, I need to have the right width which is 198, which is a high resolution, um, and the height, which is 180. There we go, that's the room, just a black background, that's okay for now. Room zero, let's call this, let's give this another name, uh, RM, uh, the game. There we go, that's okay. Next that we will need, next that we will need is a couple of objects. Objects, um, we will need object, um, player one and I will also need object player two I could make those um, I could have a parent object that describes the functionality of those two like how they behave but I don't want to because I'll make this very quick and dirty um, they will both get a new sprite a new sprite with the size um, let's see with Let's make it 50 times um, 150. It should be okay. Apply. Let's edit the image here. Player one will be blue. There we go. And let's sprite player one. Got that. And player two will also get a new sprite, which is the same size 50 times 150. Uh, okay, and player two will be traditionally red. SPR uh, player two. I should not waste too much time concentrating on the unimportant stuff there, but that's okay. Let's go back to our room and put our two components in here, player one and player two. Right, They should be split approximately the same from the left and from the right. Um, See, yeah, that that looks okay. I could measure, but I do not have the time. <clears throat> they will now get a behavior. So, player one will move up and down uh, depending on buttons, as will player two. So I will need buttons. Um, object up, player one. If the object up. No, this one will get two. Um, no, it will get one. It will get left down event and. No, 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 no. This is not. This is not the best way of doing this. Hmm. <laughs> Left pressed, 
have pressed event, we will set a variable that's inside player one here. Player one will get a variable. That variable is called direction. Ah, now dir. If dir is zero, uh, the same the same will occur for player two. I'll need to do this. Dir equals zero. <coughs> Then with uh, object player one, dear, dear, equal one, and there we go. So it will now always move player one, and the button needs a sprite. The sprite will be 64. Now nah, let's keep it like 50 and 50 both. This will just be. A grayish button, a little bit more dark gray. Still, the first song is playing. That's good. That's good. Still have plenty of time. Plenty of time. A sprite button. <coughs> like this. Yeah, that's okay. And let's duplicate this. Player one down. And if left press, then player one will be zero. Um, minus one. Minus one means other way. Whew. Let's duplicate player two. Our first song. First song is over. Oh no, second song. Oh, that's actually more chilled than I thought. So, with player 2, we are doing the same. Um, player 2. So, that means the buttons are done. And I'll just add them. Here. Oh, that, that could be a little bit too small, but that's okay. That's okay. Up player 1, up player 2. Down player 1. Uh, looking at the positioning here a little bit. There we go. So that's okay. The buttons will change the um, behavior of those. And now let's see. We'll put this in the step event here. And da -da, switch. Dear. Yeah, I know, I know. Good, good. That to me. Actually, my microphone is in the way. That's why I'm always staring down and to the side and so. Uh, switch case zero speed. Oh, I didn't. Um, the, 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 the. Case one. I'll need the um, um, uh, 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 default. No, no, no. Break, 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 break. Of course, the break statement. Case one vertical speed is minus actually minus five. Let's do it minus five. Uh, it's negative because the uh, Y level here grows bigger. Uh, the zero zero top left zero zero is top left. So the lower we go, actually the higher the Y. So I'll need to have a negative speed. I hope I don't say anything stupid there. If it's minus one, then vertical speed is five, and also break. And on our default, we will also have vertical speed to zero. And I don't need break statement there. Good, got that. Um, da -da -da. I could have made that again, as I said, I could have made that apparent. Could have made a parent for those two, but no. So, same thing, right? Same thing. <coughs> uh, one problem that we could have, let me let me quickly check this. If that works. Okay, okay. Here we go. See? That works. And it doesn't stop anymore. That's that's what I want. That's what I want. <coughs> I should have tested the other one too. I don't have too much time. Uh, it's already second song is almost almost over. Whew. Okay, that, that looks that looks okay, that looks okay. Should maybe make that faster. Ah, uh, we'll... If I got the time in the end. 
Next object I need. Create an object, object, um, ball. Good. Object ball. Object ball will get a sprite. This one will be, um, let's go with 50 again, 50, 50. Ah, let's go with 30. 30, 30. And the ball. Give me that. Ah, that's perfect. That's 30, 30. Oh, perfect. It's almost, almost 30, 30. Oh, that's too small. I'm um, 31, 30. No. Here we go. Here you go, ball. Uh, give me sprite ball. Oh, why? Why did it load so much? On create, I want the age speed. Let's give it a 20. A solid 20, that's okay, that's okay. And also V speed. A random, let's say 20 minus 10. Which will bring it to something between uh, minus 10 and 10 in total. So that's okay, that's okay, that's okay. Um, this ball needs to be added here. Oh, that's pretty small. Okay, okay. That's not what I wanted to click. So I'm still at a second song. Whew, five minutes left, five minutes left. And um, the ball, the ball. Okay, okay, the ball will have a, um, a collision detection. Collision detection with player one. If it hits player one, then H speed will be because we're going to the right, right to, to, to this side. The horizontal speed will always be positive, and the horizontal speed should stay at um, H, a absolute value of H speed because I want the horizontal speed to be constant for now. Same will happen when it hits the oh, that's that's the. That, that. Whew. I've got this absolute value and I want the negative absolute value so it will go both ways. I shouldn't test this right now because I only have way too fast. It was way too fast. Ah, but I... Ah, way too fast. Still way too fast. Ball. Where where did you go, ball? Um, horizontal speed is 10. <laughs> No, get, get up. No. <laughs> almost, I almost said it. Um, okay. Um, let me create a, another object. This object is... Um, uh, is just a general object that doesn't... You can't see it. It just controls things. And I will move the global... I will initiate a global variable. Global speed... Paddle. Um, where I can control the speed of those pedals at one position, not in, not in like 10 positions, but in one position. Um, so the speed, I will have this one here, this one there, and this one here, and this one there. So I had five, now I've got 15, that's probably a big difference. And I've got like, wait, oh no, almost, almost had it, almost had it. I mean, yeah, 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 almost, no, <laughs> this is already annoying. <clears throat> Good. Um, the ball is way too fast. And the pedal is also way too fast. Now, but the ball I can control here, right? The horizontal speed. Uh, give me a solid 7. And this one will also give me a solid 7 as well. 7 is a good number. Um, I still haven't hit the ball. So, see if that actually does what it... No. I'll assume it works. Pedal speed a little bit faster and the vertical speed. Maybe let's give this a 10 and this a 5. <clears throat> uh, da -da. The ball, of course, the ball. If the ball. If it's Y is less than 0. Less than, less than, let's say, 10. Of course, there's smarter ways of doing this, but it should. It should be reflected. And then vertical speed is equal to, and this is again, this needs to be positive. So vertical speed is um, absolute of vertical speed. And this also applies if I do the other one. That's then the negative again. If this is bigger than room. 
like one minute left, one minute left, one minute left. Um, so if the room hide, yes, that will work, that will work. And another in the step event, if... X is smaller than 10. Uh, then I want to have more in here. Instance destroy self so the ball will be done for an instance create Whew. object ball but instance create no it oh this is a new function I forgot how it's called depth okay instance create depth um, X is room with half and Y is room high half and depth is zero that doesn't matter and object is object ball yeah got that and the other one got like almost no time left Whew. if x is bigger than room width minus 10 here we go here we go here we go There's no time left. Oh, I want to control with the keyboard. Yes, there we go. Now, of course, those can be those can fall off the screen now. Oh, there we go. Got that. <laughs> the ball needs to be a little bit faster here. Okay, okay. Ah, uh, ball, 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 ball. Give me, give me your speed. Horizontal speed is. Give me, give me a solid nine. Solid nine. I still have some seconds. Some seconds left. So, um, those look like they need to go a little bit to the left and to the right here. So I've got almost no time left, so pretty much all I can do. So, 15 minutes, 15 minutes, and I've got a little game here, right? Got this little game, and now, of course, I also want to see if that works on Android, right? This doesn't count into anything because... I, I, yeah, this was clear that this, uh, I knew that this would happen because, um, we're not on the right AP level and the right architecture. And also, I will need to. That's it. This didn't count into the time. This wasn't programming or anything, this was just parameterizing. So where do I have my simulated phone? Here's my simulated phone. And give me the game on there. Yeah, it always takes some seconds, of course. Um, here we go. Yeah, well, that looked okay. Let's see. Yeah, the I mean, red player's gone. <laughs> yeah, that did maybe I should not have. Yeah, 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 no. Yeah, and the ball response, that's good. Here we go. Not a perfect game, not a perfect game, but good enough for 15 minutes. Maybe I'll give this a second try, a second video, 15 more minutes or so, but that's it for now. Um, thank you for joining. If you've got any questions, I, and, uh, I will put that, I will put the APK in the description below. Um, if you've got any questions, <laughs> just, just put a comment. Thank you for, thank you for watching this and um, I'll see you next time around. Bye.